Everybody stand up and let's do the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance. Allegiance to the flag of the United States, United States of America. And, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, 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 indivisible, with liberty, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Father God, bless us as we gather here today. May you be present to the mouths of all who speak, in the ears of all who listen, and at the heart of all we say and do. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, in order to establish the meeting, we need to establish a quorum. So I'm going to call out uh, names, and uh, we don't have the initial chair here with us today, Mr. Peter. No, sir. No, sir. Okay. He will not be available till the November uh, regular meeting in November. Yes, sir. Thank you. Present today, Mr. Juan Carlos Del Angel. Present. Mr. Gabriel Camel. Mr. Frank. Pardo. Mr. Sergio Science. Present. Mr. Michael Williamson. Present. So there's three and myself. Uh, Mr. Director Pardo is on. on uh, Director Pardo, you're muted. If you can unmute, just so we can confirm you're still on the line. Director Pardo, you're you're muted. He, he may have stepped away, but you have a quorum, Vice Chairman. Okay, well, if he steps uh, in and you notice him, because we don't have the ability to, to note who may or may not uh, come on board, please let us know, Mr. Pilar. Yes, sir. That being the case, um, we have a quorum, so this meeting is now called to order. Any public comments? No, sir, no public comment. Okay, you want to go into the regular agenda, item number one? Yes, sir. Item number one is resolution 2024-41, approval and consideration of an interlocal agreement with the City of Far and the Hidalgo County Regional Mobility Authority for the issuance of oversized and overweight uh, permits. Uh, as you recall, the uh, Texas Transportation Commission passed a minute order giving the City of Far authority to uh, issue um, overweight permits on Doffing Road. Um, in uh, adjacent to the far bridge. Um, and so this, uh, this interlocal memorializes the agreement between the authority and the city of party issue those permits. At the last regular board meeting, the board approved the interlocal between the authority and TxDOT. So this agreement basically mirrors the TxDOT requirements uh, for Doffing Road, the um, TxDOT gets 85% of the overlay fee uh, under the agreement approved with TxDOT and this agreement. City of Far will receive 1.38% of the 85% and then the City of Far will receive the remaining 98.62%. Uh, staff recommends approval of this agreement. Um, any questions? I have a few questions. They're mostly legal, Blakely. Uh, Blakely? All right. Yes, sir. What does this mean in reference to us turning this over to the city? This is a state highway or uh, a city highway at this point in time? It's an off-system road. What does that mean? It means it doesn't it, it doesn't belong to the state. This is an off system road that we would add to our overweight corridor. Okay. Vice Chairman, in this particular case, the TxDOT is willing to share its portion of the revenue with the city of Bar for maintenance uh, of this piece of road. It's on it's on a pro rata share. There's a there's a total of 57 miles in the existing overweight network. This adds eight tenths of a mile to it. So eight tenths out of 57.8 miles is 1.38% is basically how it is uh, calculated. 
Um, and so the revenue, uh, we've just done some rough estimates. Uh, it's going to be about 120,000 a year that uh, we estimate will be the revenue that Textout will share with the city of Far out of about $8 million. Okay, I, I, I'm not so much concerned about that. I'm more concerned about the legal uh, access to it and the legality of the extent of the agreement, Blakely. Uh, seems okay. like uh, we have a concern on on 3A being it's perpetual and then down the road on B says that it's a 30 day basically notice provision that which means we have a 30 day contract or agreement with them. So the um, the over a quarter would be perpetual in the event that there is a statutory um, granting of this authority. Otherwise, it's limited to the minute order. But if either party decides that that for some reason the overweight corridor does not have benefit or if far doesn't want to maintain it that way any further, uh, we would have the ability to get to get out of the agreement. FAR needs us to be the permit issuer. Uh, but there could be a reason that you know, maybe they decide that maintaining it as an overweight corridor and allowing those trucks is um, more expensive than the value they're getting from these permits or you know i don't know what could change in the future so we'd have the ability to terminate the agreement that would terminate the ability for them to get permits from us um, but for so long as the commission and then the legislature permit the roadway to be part of our overweight corridor the agreement would last in perpetuity well, it, it remains in perpetuity until Otherwise, legally, we can't do it or until one of the parties agrees to a 30 day termination. Is that correct? Yeah, that's a that's a fair way to summarize it. OK, and if, in fact, that happens for whatever reason, they exercise the option to terminate. Um, what happens? Does this revert back to the state completely? The road is a city road, so it would just revert back to far. It just wouldn't be eligible for overweight trucks and it wouldn't be eligible for the additional maintenance funding. And then we would go in the city and the state it would be an agreement that they would just take over completely 100 percent maybe the road would convert to the state but if not it would just mean it would just be a, a city road that wouldn't be eligible for overweight trucks what does that do to us if it's if, it, if there's i mean is it a road that we're going to need and that's my whole point are we I just want to make sure we don't get stuck in the future that the city has some leverage over us. I, I, Flora, I'll defer to you on, on the utility of the road for RMA purposes. Okay. Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah, yes, sir. No, at this point, uh, Doffing Road uh, really wouldn't impact uh, us because we have direct connectivity to the state highway system. So. Great. That was my question. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else have any other questions? Yes, sir, Chair, if I may. Um, the, the existing, the Dolphin Road is is the off system. I wish, can you show it on a map? Are you able to do that? Can we go to that map real quick? Yes, I need to see if we can bring that up. Yeah, can you see the map? It's that orange piece. Uh, that's shown. It's uh, it's labeled as off system. Okay. So do I, I understand this correctly? That I guess uh, it, 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 the city of Far now has the authority to uh, receive and or at least request the permits now for this for this overweight corridor. Is that is that what you had stated earlier? So the authority, uh, the RMA has the authority to issue permits. And on that orange segment, and TxDOT is willing to share uh, revenues with the city of Bar uh, for those from those permits that are issued. Okay, just on a on a on a mathematical. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong here. Just looking at this on the budget and so forth, they're going to share 1.38 percent of their 85 percent. Correct. That's correct. Okay, now what happens if no one ever drives on this corridor here on Dolphin and all of the traffic is somewhere else on the corridor and they have no maintenance on this over time? 
they still get to share the 1.38% of total revenue? Yes, sir, that is correct. And that's something that we brought up to TxDOT's attention because it comes out of TxDOT's portion of the fee and they're, um, they're okay with that. We, we estimate that's about $120,000 a year if no permits were to be issued uh, on that segment of the, of the network. Okay. Okay. You, you would more typically tie the revenue to the permit issued, but that's not the way TechStop structured this one. Is, is our system, of, we, we have the ability in our overweight permit system to, because uh, I think it even states here that they need to state on the permit where it starts and where it ends, correct? So we have that ability to determine how many miles they traveled and from where to where, correct? That is correct. And so we've been monitoring and as of, uh, as of this morning, we have not seen any activity on this segment. Um, and we went live with permits on September 14th. Uh, so we've been a, a little over a month uh, with the ability to issue permits and we have not seen any activity. But we on, for, on our end, nothing changes. I mean, we, no, we, we submit the permits like we always do, TxDOT does their thing. They're the ones that have the agreement with the city of FAR. I mean, the way that, that, that they maintain their system is up to them, really. It's not up to us. That, that is correct, because it, revenue wise, it does not impact us whatsoever because it's it's uh, text that is sharing their portion of the revenue with the city of FAR, so it, it has no fiscal impact on, on the authority. Okay, and so the real the real reason that we're doing this is just to divest uh, maintenance over to them, uh, so that we're not responsible for maintenance or textiles not responsible for the maintenance on this. That is correct. Okay, yeah. and how many interlocal agreements does uh, the RMA have in place with other organizations at this time? This is the first one. Okay. For, uh, on the overweight uh, corridor exception. On the right? overweight. Yeah. Bilal, are we are aren't we going to be doing something very similar for the city of Mission for their little section of road once they get a minute order passed by TxDOT? Yes, sir. If if they can get TxDOT to uh, grant them uh, authority to issue permits on Trinity Road, which is off system, then we would do the same thing with the city of Mission. Okay. Are 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 these roads already built uh, for overweight? Uh, so uh, Trinity is a concrete. Uh, roadway um, and it's already been constructed. Uh, Doffing Road was upgraded for overweight traffic, so they went out there and the city of Far made improvements to it and they uh, beefed it up to handle overweight trucks. Uh, that's some recent construction that just occurred. Where is Trinity Road? You mentioned Trinity. Trinity Road is just south of Expressway, uh, Interstate 2, Expressway 83 between Military Highway and on South Lewis Highway. Okay. It runs east-west. But this, but this, but this particular request that we're looking at here, it just has to do with West Dolphin Road intersection, Dolphin and Canal, correct? That is correct. Okay. Any other questions? No, sir. Uh, it's it states here existing on road spur 600 proposed off system uh, off system to the west which is caged it goes right into the board it goes into the bridge does that does this have anything to do with this request so it's the next agenda item sir okay very good okay okay we'll take a motion for item 1a resolution 2024-41 any motions please make a motion to approve second Move by Mr. Delange, second by Mr. Williamson. All those in favor say aye. 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 All, those opposed, all those opposed, same sign. Motion carries, Mr. Pilar. Okay, item uh, 1B is resolution 202442, approval of a resolution supporting partnering with the city of FAR to issue overweight, oversized vehicle permits on off system roadways. So I'll refer back to the map uh, that we were looking at. Um, the city of FAR has a request in for the Texas Department of Transportation. Uh, if you look at the purple that says uh, on system spur 600, that's, that's a state maintained segment of roadway that is the entrance to the far bridge. And then you have uh, on system spur 29, uh, that is a state maintained roadway. And that is the exit 
for the far bridge. So the purple or the magenta is to the entrance into the far bridge and the light blue is the exit from the far bridge. City of Far has a request to take those off the state highway system. In other words, for TxDOT to turn them over to the city of Far for operation and maintenance. Um, and so they've asked us to pass a resolution uh, that if that happens, then we would partner with them to issue permits, overweight permits on the light blue portion and the magenta portion. And so this resolution is just supporting that we will partner with them if TxDOT allows those two, the light blue and the magenta to be removed from the uh, state highway system. So staff is recommending approval of the resolution supporting partnering with the city of FAR to issue overweight permits on off system roadways basically approved by TxDOT. What is the intent of the cities for, for the city, I'm sorry, to do this? So the city of, they... Far, city of FAR intends to issue their own um, overweight permit uh, for these two segments. Um, and so they would want to use our permit system to piggyback on that to issue a separate permit uh, for those two segments of roadway. So they, they're looking to generate revenue, sir. And the state's willing to forego that? So we will not, we do not know the answer. Uh, this item, that item is scheduled to be on the Dece December Texas Transportation Commission agenda. Uh, at this time, all is, uh, all the city of Bar is asking for us, from us, from the authority, is a res resolution saying we would support partnering with them if, Text dot order approved, removing those two two segments from the state highway system. But there's no implication in this resolution that we're siding with the city versus the state in case there is some concern that the state may not want to do this. Yeah, that's correct. We've kind of taken a neutral position. Um, we just said if text dot's okay with it, then we would partner with them. How much roadway is this right now? Do you have a measurement? Um. I believe uh, spur 600 is about a quarter mile and spur 29 uh, is about uh, about uh, half a mile. <laughs> okay, so you have three quarters of a mile. Yes, sir. And, and right now the state themselves, they uh, provide the maintenance on these, right? Because they're on systems. That is correct. Okay, they're in our pool of, uh, of part of our um, overweight permits, correct? Um, Meaning that, that we are the ones who provide the overweight permit for these these pieces of property, these road these roads? Yes, sir. They they connect to the, the state highway system where we issue permits, that's correct. What is the benefit uh, for us to do this for the RMA? Uh, so if, if TxDOT does approve this request, then the interlocal that you just approved, the last agenda item, would come back to the board. We'd amend it to add these two uh, segments of roadway, and we would um, probably receive 15% of any revenue generated on these two segments uh, for our administrative costs. But if they're on system, we don't already receive that 15%? Uh, just don't get just yes, just overweight. It's the, it's the fifteen, the fifteen eighty five right now. So what would change would it would be it would still stay fifteen eighty five, but instead of eighty five percent going to TxDOT, it would go to the city of Park. So revenue neutral for us. Yes, that's correct. Right. You know what? If if yeah, I I mean, you you look at uh, you look at this scenario, and and uh, it it uh, it appears that it's a um, a neutral situation for us, realistically. What are, what is everyone else's thoughts? I I just don't understand why this is happening. I don't know what the long term situation is for the RMA to be dealing with a city versus the state, but if you don't foresee any concerns, be that I mean. Well, the, the city will have to maintain pursuant to the state's overweight standards. So yeah. TxDOT will TxDOT will monitor and oversee the the standards of the roadways. The city can only spend the money on maintenance 
for overweight corridors, so they can't move the money into the general fund. Excuse my ignorance on this process, but if, for example, um, the one on the purple one, if that's going to the park, is that normally the end destination for that particular truck? Normally? Yes, sir. so that that road leads up to the southbound toll booths, where it 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 goes from military highway to the southbound toll booth. So at the end of that road, they get they get to the toll booths and they got to pay to cross the far bridge to go into Mexico. The blue so, one, the blue one connects to the border safety inspection facility. So after they're coming northbound and they get inspected, then that's the outbound for them. To travel into the interior of the uh, of the county or the city, and if they're if they're not going into the interior, and that is their final destination, uh, have they reached an agreement as to the split of the of the uh, fee, or well, that's to be determined later? Uh, well, actually, uh, effectively, you've kind of already approved that split with the interlocal. We just approved where it would be fifteen percent the authority. But in this case, it would be if, if TxDOT gets everything approved by the Transportation Commission, then they would get 85 percent of the fee and we'd get 15 percent of the uh, fee. No, I'm talking about this. Uh, forgive me. I'm talking about the split between the city and the and the and the state. So it, so what text what the city is going after, they don't want to split it with the state. That's why they're asking to take it off. The state highway system so they can receive. 100% of the 85%. And how much is it that? Could, it could either be done in the same formula we're doing now, which is you take the whole corridor and break out the percentage, or they could just keep the revenue from the permits that are associated with these stretches of road. Right, Pilar? I mean, I don't think that we've determined how they would no, we haven't receive heard. their phone. Yeah. I have a question, Pilar. So on these, let's um, say the city owns them, right? If we see that we, if they need maintenance, well, we can make that request to the city, correct? Well, if we make that provision, if we put that provision in the interlocal agreement, yes, sir. I mean, it may be as a condition of releasing the funds, say, you, you, you uh, need maintenance, here are the funds. I, you know, we, we, we haven't visited that structure yet. We're waiting for the city of Fall to get authority to start with and then we can work on a structure yeah i i just i i know that like the trinity issue in mission and i'm kind of getting a, ahead of ourselves right because that one hasn't come before us yet but that's they're trying to get funds to improve that through textile and this would kind of be the opposite the city would have the burden of of repairing this on their own because they'd great. be they'd be receiving their funds yes okay sir. Okay. No, I'm just th thinking from like a timing perspective and a less, I guess, bureaucratic procedural perspective, right? That repairs could probably be made much quicker if needed. Yes, sir. And the way we've structured uh, the uh, fees to the city of Bar and the, the agreement you just approved uh, is that we would give them their, their fees annually. Once a year, we Say so here you go. Here's your check for all the permits that were your pro rata share for everything that was issued for the year. Okay. Now, forgive me again. Are this city roads or state roads? They're currently state roads. The city is is has a request into TxDOT to make to to convert them back to city roads. They were they were at one time they were city roads uh, originally, and then. The city of Bar dedicated uh, transferred them to TxDOT, both for for maintenance and operation, um, and now the city of Bar is asking TxDOT to transfer them back to the city for maintenance. Lately, let's run this through just in case. Let's suppose that we do this. And let's suppose we go through the process. Let's suppose we reach an agreement with them completely, as the one we just voted on. Blakely, and then we have concerns because the streets are not being maintained, blah, 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 whatever the reason may be. What what are our, our remedies at that time? Obviously, we would have the remedy to terminate within 30 days 
and then they can't have overweight permit uh, fees anymore. Is that correct? That's right. Now, TxDOT will um, will oversee their maintenance, and so if the state takes issue with it, you know, they would put them on notice also. What would give the state authority if they don't no longer become state roads and they're they're reverted back to the city? Because they're overweight, they would be subject to TxDOT's maintenance standards for overweight corridors for safety well, I purposes. I understand the the maintenance uh, standards, but do, do they still have the authority to enforce? They do on overweight roads, even though they're city. Even though they're city roads, TxDOT TxDOT determines the maintenance standards on those because they're different than what city roads would ordinarily carry. Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay. I, and you know, I mean, I'm just looking at 10, 15, 20 down years down the road. That's good. Yeah. Administration administration changes, politics change, and yeah. and things can change. I just want to make sure we 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 protect the RMAs uh uh the the ability to be able to go in and take care of situations and uh they become city roads now, so we obviously can't go back and change them back to state roads. We don't have that authority. We can't. Uh, so that means the only thing we could do is not give them permits anymore. Overweight permits, that's the only leverage we would have. Is that correct? Yes, and, and that has a financial impact on us too, right? Because we would lose the 15% of the overweight permits that we collect. Um, so it would be a... a have to be a serious situation, right? That we were willing to yeah. also forego our financial benefit. Because all of a sudden, it's not a it's not a state road, it's a city road. They're not doing their job. We have to cut off the permits, and then we're stuck. And I just want the the, the board to understand those consequences, because that can very be very very real. If the state uh, determines the roads are not safe for overweight travel. I would imagine we'd see a minute order withdrawing our authority to issue overweight permits on that roadway. That's correct, right? So that means we lose, the state loses, and the city just moves on, and they can't become overweight roads anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I, just to add to that, uh, Vice Chairman and, and Directors, I mean, it behooves the city of Bar to maintain those roadways in and out of the port because that is a major revenue generator for the city of far i think it generates revenues on the order of 13 to 15 million dollars a year so it wouldn't be in their best interest to not to to stop maintaining those roadways because then they'll start to lose bridge revenue so uh well, I, we understand I, that we understand that we just need to understand that that's a possibility that could happen it is. It normally is. logically would dictate that they should continue to to prosper and fix the roads, continue the proper maintenance and keep generating those those revenues. But we all understand human beings and politics being politics. We just need to know what we're getting into and how we're going to vote. So I don't have a problem. I just want to make sure we all understand that. Uh, and, and Chairman and Vice Chairman, you make a good point there and so forth. And right now, it, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but right now we seem to have a partnership as this as this one uh, B agenda one B item is coming up with. It says it is to uh, supporting partnering with the city of far we currently have a partnership with the state of texas this is one of the largest port of entries in the united states it is one of the largest port of entries in the rio grande valley and especially for fresh produce and maquila work and so forth uh it seems to be working fine right now and it seems to have great access to maintenance uh this is if this bridge were to go down it would be a federal item it'd be a state item and a federal item it wouldn't be a city of far problem It'd be a state problem and a federal problem uh, if trucks couldn't get across. There's 60, almost 70,000 trucks a month going across that bridge. And that's at least on the southbound, let's say 30,000, that's southbound right there. Um, I, um, it, 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 seems that, it seems it's a good situation now. It, it seems that, that is. I would, I would like to see the 1A that we just approved, see the performance by the city on 1A maybe for a year before maybe six months before we actually approved on 1B. I'm not against it. I'm just Thomas, throwing what do you think of us? I mean, I just, uh, I don't know. 
Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't foresee there being a, an issue. I mean, the port is too important to the city. Uh, I mean, it's their main revenue generator. Um, they are, have given so much money to to GSA just to improve uh, all the infrastructure inside the federal footprint. And that's just donations that they're making to the feds, right? In excess of 60, $70 million um, in a continued partnership with the city of FAR. I mean, I, I would vote for, but it's, it's, I just can't see them let these two items fail. That's into their port and that's out of their port. It just yeah, that's, makes, this... that makes sense that they want to maintain them. I mean, I, I would want to also. I wouldn't want to rely on somebody else maintaining the access and exit points to my most important piece of infrastructure in the city. Let me ask you this question. Does um, and, and if you have the answer, Pilar, the, the city of Far have the uh, the wherewithal, and I'm sure they do, uh, uh, to maintain these roads and the in the in the standard and and quick uh, resolution if they were to go down for one day or something. So, so they have access to the resources. They don't have the in-house forces that can do it, but I know that they would contract. Uh, those services out because that's what they typically do uh, for their internal infrastructure at the bridge. Uh, they're, they, they've got a, a bridge that they maintain um, and they contract those services out for the regular maintenance of the bridge. And then they're building the second span right now. So, you know, they, they, they've got the resources to maintain these types of facilities. What would be the cost to maintain on an annual basis, something like this, Pilar? Let me, let me, I'm looking at my construction engineer here saying he's whipping out his pencil. So uh, let's, pretend that we're, can, let's, I, let's pretend I, that we're Mr. Williamson, that we're a banker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, can so, we do that? So, kind of I don't know what direction you're going with that, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so an, uh, an overweight facility, uh, five lane roadway is probably about $7 million a mile to construct and then maintenance on that would probably, we, you'd have, probably have to do some regular maintenance about every five years, uh, joint seals, um, you know, clean, cleaning them out, re, repacking them. Um, I would say, I don't know, maybe uh, 100,000, maybe 200,000 every five years. 187. 187. From, one, from one set, 187,000 every five years for maintenance. That's not too, that's not too much. Yeah. No, 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 no. The Carlos is right. I mean, that should be a no brainer. Yeah. But like, if we want to be bankers, we should ask for a certain amount monthly or annually to make sure that money's there, you know, every two, three, four, five years, whatever, maybe the years. I don't know. I just want to make sure, guys, uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm like you, Carlos. I, 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 we have a great partner in the state, but I made the comment to y'all last meeting that the valley is growing a lot. And you can see this, guys. I mean, when I was, I mean, we had 30% 30, 30 unemployment, guys, at one time. This is phenomenal. This is great. We just want to make sure we do it correctly and that we can get the funds into one of our city coffers versus the state. I don't have a problem with that at all. I just want to make sure we do it right. So it's up to you, Pilar. I mean, whatever. Well, I, we, we recommend approval of the resolution at this point. This just say we support partnering with you, City Bar, and that's it. It doesn't really commit uh, anything until we bring a formal agreement to the board. Blakely, you'll put some teeth into it, Blakely? Counselor? <laughs> 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 we can, um, yeah, well, okay. I'll take a look at it and see and, and visit with TxDOT about what kind of teeth they would want to see. Okay. So like I, th I think someone mentioned earlier the text doc could deny this, correct? Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's it's scheduled to go before the Texas Transportation Commission right. at their December meeting. I and like and like I mentioned, I, I I don't want that to happen. I think just the comments that have been made are, are correct. Uh, but to give the money to a local coffer, absolutely. I just want to make sure that just just like Vice Chair says, that 15, 20, 25, 30 years down the road, that this decision was the proper one because mm -hmm. things do change. Absolutely. Okay, Sergio, are you still with us, Sergio? Yes, I'm still here. Okay, Pilar, anything else? No, sir, that's it. Okay, well, I'll entertain a motion to approve uh, item 1B, resolution 2024-42, any 
Motion. I make a motion to approve. Motion by Mr. Lankin, second. I'll second. Mr. Williams, second. All those in favor, same guy. Aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. Motion carries, Mr. Pilar. Okay. Vice Chairman and Directors, we have no further business for consideration. You're asking for a motion to adjourn, Mr. Pilar? Yes, sir. So get a motion to adjourn this meeting. Second. Like a moat. Like a motion moved to adjourn. Moved by Mr. Williamson, second by Mr. Uh, Sergio Fine. Science, somewhere in the boondocks. So all in favor say aye. 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 All, in, all opposed, same sign. Motion carries. This meeting is now adjourned in the books, Mr. Pilar. <laughs>